Time now for the ridiculous, and tonight I gotta do it. I'm adding myself again for losing it on air again on last night's ridiculous. On last night's ridiculous, we added anyone who missed out on Dingus Day, a little known holiday. It sounds like a lot of fun. Now, for the record, I didn't put the holiday itself on the ridiculous. It was anyone who missed out on the holiday, for the record. Now, I started giggling about halfway through last night's ridiculous. Take a look. The quirky little rituals include boys sprinkling girls that they fancy with water, and the girls striking back with a tap from a pussy willow branch. <laughs> I'm not going to let you do this one. All right. It's really so stupid. All right, now, if you notice, in the midst of the giggle fit, I said something like, this is so stupid, it's so stupid. I think I said it twice. Now, some people, especially folks in the Buffalo area, seem to think I was calling Dingus Day itself stupid. I absolutely was not. I was saying that my giggle fit was so stupid, and it was. I also said it was torture at one point. I certainly wasn't calling Dingus Day torture. I, I said it was stupid because it's stupid that a grown man giggles like a 13-year-old girl meeting Justin Bieber for the first time. And I think it's stupid that I cannot stop giggling once I start. And I think it's stupid that this is not the first time I have had an immature giggle fit. Take a look. Dead part two. I know you got it, but. <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> In Buffalo, New York, the Dingus Day capital of the world, however, today there was actually a demonstration called. They held a Pussy Willow Pride rally. And if you notice, there's a sign there that reads, Cooper is a pooper. A saying which, by the way, I found funny in third grade and I still find funny to this day. Cooper, pooper. Anyway, what actually makes me sad about this is that I really hope those people at that demonstration today know I was not calling Dingus Day stupid. There are tons of quirky and little-known cultural and religious celebrations in, in this country, and I enjoy them. I think it's cool that we have them. I think it's part of what makes this country so great. Because I was legitimately sad that I upset people in Buffalo and elsewhere. I invited the co-founder of Buffalo's Dingus Day celebration, Eddie Dubashevitz, onto the program. I spoke with him just before airtime. Mr. Dubashevitz, thank you very much for, for, for being on uh, with me. I just want to explain and make sure you understand that... When I said, it's so stupid, I was giggling and I was talking about myself giggling yet again because this has been an ongoing problem where I've broken out into ridiculous, childish giggles over, uh, over you know, words that I should not be giggling over. And so that's what I went when I said, this is so stupid. I was not calling Dingus Day stupid. And clearly a lot of people in Buffalo and elsewhere believe that I was. And so I want to apologize to them and try to explain that was my intent. Well, I guess it could be worse. I guess instead of breaking out in giggles, you could break out in hives, so I'm glad for that. Um, second of all, although you have upset many, many people here in western New York and throughout the land, we accept your apology, Mr. Cooper. Graciously, we do. I just, you know, we understand that Dingus Day and, and the rituals and the little quirky uh, uh, things that are associated with it are ridiculous. We, we don't make any bones about that. We are very, very aware that chasing someone around with a pussy willow branch is not a normal thing to do, that it is kind of silly, um, and squirting each other with water is just as silly. 
but it's much more than that. Uh, it's, it's an ancient ritual that Buffalonians have adopted as their own. It looks like a lot of fun, and I, you know, part of the thing that makes America great is all the different groups that are in the United States and, and all the different places that people come from and the traditions they bring with them and the celebrations they have. We should be celebrating all these different groups, cultural celebrations, because I do think it's what makes the United I States agree. fun. As a gesture to prove that we are genuine in our acceptance of your apology, I personally would like to invite you on behalf of Dingus Day Buffalo and really on, on behalf of the entire city of Buffalo to come to our, our festivities next year and you will be the very first ever Pussy Willow Prince. We will <laughs> crown you as the Pussy Willow Prince. Are you trying to make of me Dingus giggle Day again? Festival. You will <laughs> <laughs> I, I would ask not I would, to make you giggle. I would love to uh, be the Pussy Willow Prince, and I, I don't think I've ever said that before. Um, but I would love that. Yeah. I don't want to promise because with my new schedule, things change. But as the date approaches, let's talk uh, this time next year, and I will okay. make every effort to come and uh, to celebrate Dinkus Day. That would be great. Thank you, Anderson, and, and thanks for the opportunity to promote this uh, throughout the land. Thank right. you. All right, so I hope everyone knows I was calling myself and my stupid laugh stupid, not Dingus Day, and if I did really offend you, I am sorry. I said it last night, I'll say it again to the good citizens of Buffalo and elsewhere, happy belated Dingus Day.